Hello and welcome to our math studies video. We're going to look at the finance app and the graphic display calculator. It's not an easy or straightforward app and mistakes are easy to make. Now I'm going to do three examples and you're probably only going to need this uh, finance app for loans. We'll talk about them later. Just keep in mind that in general with finance, people use technology to solve the problem. So, you know, we're going to use our own little technology here. You press apps, enter, and enter again to access the TV and solver. This is the app you need. Now, uh, it doesn't look very friendly, but we're going to really break it down in this video. So here are the options uh, that you can fill in. So you can see what each one of them means. Uh, but here we go. So N is the number of time periods, not necessarily the number of years. Keep that in mind. Uh, the interest, however, is always the interest per year. The present value, the payment per time uh, payment, is if there's any like payment made in between, and so on. Important thing to keep in mind is that you should never use this for simple interest, only for compound interest and things like loans, inflation, depreciation that we will see later on. So here's a simple example of compound interest, just our typical compound interest problem uh, using this TVM solver. So I have 100 euros at 2.8% compound interest compounded monthly six years. So the number of time periods is not going to be six, it's not the number of years, it's going to be six times 12. It's going to be 72. I can do the multiplication in the, in the slot itself. I can just put 6 times 12 there and it's going to calculate it for me. You have to keep in times the number of times in which something is going to be happening. So the 2.8 is always the per annum interest. That's what I put. The present value, I have to put it in negative. Why is this? I always put it in negative if I'm giving money to the bank or I put it in positive if I'm receiving money for the bank. So I'm going to be putting it in negative now. PMT is zero because I'm not putting any money in between. And the payment per year is going to be 12 because that's 12 times the bank is going to be putting money into the account. And the CY, the compounding per year, is going to be 12 too. Now those two often coincide. To solve it, you put the uh, cursor over the one you want to figure out. In this case, it's future value. And you press alpha solve. Let's go through it slowly again. And this is the final screen that what I get. So here I'm going to put the number of periods. It's going to be 72, which is 6 times 12. Remember, it's not the number of years. The interest over is always the interest per annum. Present value goes negative because I'm giving the money to the bank. There's no payments done in between. I'm not putting like in between according to the bank, I'm putting another 100 in or anything like that. Payment per year is 12 payments the bank is making. The interest is compounded into 12 times per year. And the PMT, the option at the end, is always pretty much always going to leave end. And it's because the, uh, the bank is giving the money afterwards, not giving the money straight at the beginning. And you press alpha solve on feature value, and that's how you get the final solution. And this is the, our second example, which is, for example, calculating necessary investment. This is different. I have, you know, these are my conditions, and I want to know how much do I have to put in to get 100,000 in 20 years. So let's think about it. It's compounded quarterly and 20 years. So I'm going to have to put 20 times 4. There you go. I'm going to get 80. The percentage is always per annum, so 4.8. Present value is the one I don't know. It's the one I have to figure out. So that one I'm going to let it be, or I could put a zero in between. No, let's put a zero in between. Payment per time period is zero. I'm not putting any money in in between. Future value, I know this one is positive because I'm going to receive this money from the bank, so it's 100,000. And payments per year, there's going to be four, and compounded per year is going to be four. Now, these two are pretty much, pretty much always the same. I've never seen a case where they should be different, but it could happen, I guess. So I just go to present value, put out, press alpha solve, and I'm going to get it negative, because this is money I'm giving to the bank. So this is what I get. Let's break it down again. 80, which is four times 20, like compounded quarterly, 20 years, I put 80. PMT, there's no money paid in between. Future value is 100,000. Payment per year is four, and you know, again, as I said, payment per year and compound uh, periods per year, they're always pretty much always going to be the same. And just press alpha solve on present value, put the cursor there, and I get the solution. This is a slightly different problem. This is my uh, th uh, third problem is going to be a little different. I'm going to calculate the periods needed. So I'm going to calculate the n in this one. Let's put a zero for the time being. So the interest is going to be 6.5 per annum. See it in the uh, in the exercise initiation. So I have to put ten thousand in. So that's going to be minus ten thousand. I'm giving the money to the bank. No payments made in between. 
in the future value is going to be double that. So it's going to be 20,000 that the bank is going to give me back. That's why it's positive. Now, you realize there's no compounding going on there, right? So it's just going to be 1 and 1. It doesn't say so, just put a 1 there. And I go up to the end and I press alpha and enter. So it's basically I'm pressing solve and I get 11.006 compounded, 11.006 periods. Now it's not compounded, right? Since it's going to be, if it's 11, it's going to be just underneath double what I want. So the answer is going to be 12. And that's basically how the, uh, this program works. I hope it's reasonably clear. It can be confusing and mistakes are easy to make because you don't realize if you made a mistake, you just type the answer in wrong. Good luck and thank you.